What's going on, everybody? Shooter here. We're back. Summer 2013, that's what this is. We're bringing it back with the 2013 Summer Recap. I wanted to do another one of these from last year. I watched the last one just recently, and I wanted to um, like continue on on the stuff that I talked about there and build off of it and say what we got accomplished this summer and this entire year from then and that so much has changed, okay? I rated last summer an 8 or 9 out of 10. And this summer blew last summer out of the water when it comes to things done, thoughts, opinions, things that have happened. It has blown it out of the water. And the best thing about that rating from last year is that I said last year that I would, that next this summer could be 10 times greater than last summer, and that's exactly what it was. It was absolutely amazing the things that got done this summer, the things that happened for other people, that happened for me, that happened everywhere, lessons learned, and everything. It has been truly a blessing and a great thing. You know, a lot of it comes down to me being able to finally find out who I was, and that happened a lot this year. I put, um, what I figured out what I wanted, I went out there and got all of it, I gave it my all, I worked my best, and I pushed myself, stressed myself out a lot. And put a lot more pressure on myself than I needed to when it came, especially to work, and the the stress and the just the just everything that came with it. Um, I wanted to try to explain it in a way to make everyone understand it, right? So like, you know, you think, okay, last summer I got my job and I started as a host, right? And now I don't even do any of that stuff anymore. Came it was what February or March, whatever month comes first. Um, when I started working at the Lodi, uh, Bob Evans, a uh, month or two into that, I started grilling and then I started doing KP and that's all I do now. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. And to be honest, this place is a lot more hectic than I ever would have thought it was. And the pressure and just everything that comes with it is a lot crazier than you can explain. Um, so I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to say that you have to work there and, you have to live it to understand it um, or have a job somewhere else similar to it. It's where the stress and the pressure is actually there. And you, it gets very hectic and crazy. And you push yourself and do these crazy things to try to meet the standards and what you think you should be doing. But in the end, it comes down to you just got to calm down, take your time, a nice slow pace, getting the stuff out there. You know, don't worry about that kind of stuff. You just got to do your job the best you can, work at that nice, slow and steady pace that you know you can, um, you know you can push for and strive for. But let's see what else we got here. We've got um, last summer. Okay, we got a car. We didn't have a car. That was in the makings. But we got a license, and that led to eventually getting a car in, what was that, January, I want to say? I want to say that kind of, no, it was probably before that, probably December maybe. But um, when school busing got cut, that got rolled into play. So that happened, right? Um, we did spend $500 on fixing the car. We did spend $400 to $500 on video games last year, in which case most of them we never played. Very disappointing how that worked out. And we didn't do all the less plays we wanted to. Um, but we did spend $3,000 on a new computer. Probably close to $3,500 to $4,000 if you include everything that's come along with that. When it, you include, we'll include the microphones, the two monitors, the headsets, the uh, fucking, what else is there we got here? What else are we rocking? I don't know. I can't quite see what else. I can't think of what else there is that kind of came with that boat. But there's other stuff that came with that, right? So that was cool. Um, I talked about how I don't know if I was going to make that PC jump. I don't play console anymore. My Xbox is sitting over on my top of my uh, fucking, what's it called? The Not the dresser. The other thing. The taller thing. The um, What are those things called? Not the, not the dressers because those are long. The taller ones. I forget what those are called. But um, it's sitting up there with my TV where I played on. Okay, that all got kicked out. Um, and I don't play on that anymore. I mostly just do the PC stuff. I bought a lot of games. Steam Summer Sale. I spent, I don't remember the piece of paper where I had this written down. I did the math. Here we go. I spent 140 bucks on 20 games. that came out to about $7.03 each. So I'd say I'd rate that a pretty fucking good deal if you ask me. Alright, so that was good, that was fun, and I'm really enjoying it, you know. One thing that I learned is you can use a controller with a lot of the PC games, so technically you're getting the console experience on a PC, which is cool. Um, I think I might go next gen, if I do, I'm probably going to go with the Xbox. We're going to go with the Xbox, and we're going to buy probably just Call of Duty for it. Um, Mike has ordered his PC parts, and he's in the process of doing that. He has gotten a job, he is moving forward. I'm very happy with that, and for him... Um, 
Corey hasn't quite gotten the job thing yet. I, I, I got a job lined up for him. He could get a job if he wants one, but he does not have the drive or the desire to necessarily go out and get the job right now. So I can't really do much more for him than just keep telling him, you know, he's doing the cross country gig right now. We'll see what happens after that. But you, know, you got to have money to do all this cool stuff. So, um, we got all that rolling, a lot of fun PC games and stuff. Uh, I want to get back into the consistency of this video thing, one video a week maybe. Uh, honestly, this new setup I'm rocking for audio, I think it's going to happen. Uh, we'll see what happens with that, though. Um, big thing I talked about last year, podcast, man. I feel terrible. We have such a fun time doing those, but they're so hard to get organized and get together, honestly. You know, to find time where all of us are free and we don't have things planning. You know, right now... Um, I'm juggling work, school's going to start juggling, I'm juggling a girlfriend, and it's hard because when it comes to the girlfriend, we both work, and we both work four or five days a week, and we really only have one day off together, right? So it's kind of like after work the other nights and stuff like that, and we don't live like five minutes away either, so it makes it harder, you know what I'm saying? And it just makes this stuff harder to juggle and fondle around with other people. So, um, we'll see what happens with the podcast. Um, I want to keep going with it. We did do a couple episodes this summer, which was cool. We did hit the one year on that, so that was fun. Um, let's see. Uh, one game, new games. There's new games coming out this year, right? Assassin's Creed. We've got Battlefield 4. Um, hopefully me and Michael start playing these PC games once he gets his computer set up and spends some money on some games. That should be cool, right? Uh, what other games? Sleeping Dogs. I'm excited for that. Not Sleeping Dogs. Fuck, I always call it that. Watch Dogs is what it's called. And uh, excited for that game. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 is looking pretty sick. We've got Battlefield 4. And fuck, there was another cool one. Titanfall, I think, was one of them. Was that the Titanfall? Was that it? I think it was called Titanfall. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I haven't been really being on board these whole gaming things lately. I haven't had time to really look into it. Uh, more in the entertainment business and all that comedy crap. So, um, bought a new phone. That was cool. I got the Galaxy Samsung S4. That was cool. Uh, Mike got his job in computer. That's rocking. So we're, we're hopefully going to get back into the Let's Play channel. The Frost Clan Let's Play channel will hopefully open back up. Um, I didn't make a video or anything about that. I stopped it. Uh, I was getting bored with it. I don't know if I didn't have the time or, or what it was. I honestly think it was just I didn't have the desire to do the Let's Plays anymore. So I just kind of let off on it and stopped. And I haven't had a problem not doing it. Um, I've kind of wanted to sporadically in here and there, but I figured what I'm going to start doing for the new commentary outlook is if I don't have gameplays, I'm just going to do solid commentaries, no gameplays in the background, and I'm going to sync up the gameplay, uh, the audio with the with gameplay in similar lengths, or just record all these different games I have and just throw them on a video with the audio. All right, it's not about the gameplay really anymore. I've got a lot of good games for Search left, but um, I was looking back at the, the gameplay for last year, and it was MW3 Search. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that. We went a lot of fun places with MW3 Search. Black Ops 2 was a huge letdown for us. The connection was terrible. We never jumped on board Search and Destroy and all that. We honestly all separated a lot with Black Ops 2. And I'm hoping with Next Gen and the new Call of Duty, and with hopefully Corey going to get his PC and Battlefield, we can all kind of get back together and be and do this fun stuff and still enjoy it. Um, it's a lot harder, though. You're growing up, schedules are changing, priorities are getting set forth. You know, uh, senior year, you got to do semi-good in school, focus a little bit on school. But, um, I mean, this was a great summer. A lot done. Um, girl, that's it. That holds us, that's a spiel that we could do a whole video on. Um, opinions and the way things have become and things are happening, that's absolutely crazy. Um, I found me again. I find it every time, you know. That's another video spiel. I got a whole book here that I filled up over the summer with... Uh, topics and things that have crossed my mind and I think honestly we're going to do something with that book. Um, the original idea of it was to write everything down and talk about it but I realized that once I wrote all these things down in the book I made my peace with them all right so I never had a desire to come back and talk to them talk about them in any way shape or form so uh, we might get on uh, board that but all I got to say is there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening with this new work scheduling and all this crap uh, whole different videos and all this kind of stuff. The real world is a lot crazier than you think, um, especially if you choose to take the route and live the real world, live reality and find the truth in things. Um, I found that, too, a lot of people don't really look for the truth even though they say they do and they can take the truth. Um, 
it's just everything. It's a lot. It's a, it's a video. It's videos. And um, I'm going to try to get back into it, honestly. I miss it. And I think, honestly, with this new audio trick and the notebook and how I'm just going to be keeping notes on stuff, I realize that I've got to keep notes on stuff and uh, just look back at it. And it really helps a lot. So, uh, you know, everything is great. My life is great, guys. All right? I can tell you one thing, that when you're younger, you have to find out what you want to do. And you have to do it when you're young. You have to get these things done now. You have to live these cool, crazy fantasies now. Don't wait till you're older to try to do this shit. You won't have time. You're not going to have time. Don't say that you will have time because I know you won't. I watch my parents and everything and you know, how they grew up and how they kind of always have a handle on their future and whatnot. But you have to do it now. Um, if you're going to have a good family and have a, if you want to have kids and stuff, you have to know that when you have those kids, their life comes before your happiness. What's best for them comes before what's best for you once that happens, if you're going to be a good parent. So um, take notes of that and whatnot. Find yourself, okay? Spend time by yourself. Figure out who you are and what you want out of now, whether it's grades, people, experiences. Find out how to get money and what you spend it on. It doesn't matter what you spend it on, as long as you can live with what you're spending it on. Um, honestly, I look back on this kind of computer and some of the stuff I've spent money on this summer. Some of it was good, some of it wasn't, but... In the end, I'm not worried about money. Uh, and the next summer after we take our trips, some of these trips I want to go on, um, I'm going to ship out. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna look back, okay? Hopefully there will be some people waiting and some people that I'll have during it, but that's the plan. So um, rating this summer, I can't give it a 10, okay? Because you can't have the perfect summer. This by no means was the perfect summer, you know? I, I steeped pretty low at a point um, with just with stress and what was building and stuff. So... Um, we're going to give it a 9, 9.5, 9.75. It's pretty close to a 10, but, um, hopefully next time we can top the 10 with what we're going to be planning to do. So thank you guys for watching and seeing tuned for this. Look forward to the more consistency stuff. I'm going to get back into this game. You know, the views and all that might not be there, but it's fun. I've invested in it and I'm willing to continue rolling with it because it's a lot of fun and I really, really enjoy doing this for me, for you. It's a great experience and it's a great way to vent what's on your mind and life and share it with people in a way that I can do it. It's weird. I can't talk. I can't always just do this right in front of people. You know what I mean? I can do it to some friends and some people, but it's way easier to do it like this and then have people see the content. It's way easier for some reason, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one and we'll talk some serious stuff because that's me. That's you. And that's what this game is. It's a serious game. It's called life. Live it up kids. Take it from me. So I hope everyone else had a great summer. Have a great school year again. Make your year the best. Do your best in the school, of course, because that's what really matters. Um, do what you want. Find out who you are and go get it. That's all I got to say. You will find happiness when you find out what you want and when you finally get it and you know you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to everybody later.